Hello, everyone. I started Briola because I used to hate bra shopping. I thought it doesn't make any sense that women love, love shopping, but we don't like bra shopping much, right, ladies? Smart algorithms, Brayola claims it can help you find the perfect fitting bra. Share your favorites, and the site will compare others' picks and recommend new bras for you. I'm Laura Evans. So women, of course, understand the pain, but since we have a lot of men here, right? Then I want the men here to understand the pain too. So I'm going to use this video that I used uh, from a conference in Oslo when I was on stage. The crowd was mainly men, and I also wanted them to understand better the pain. So let's see. Women know, women here know, that buying bras is not as easy and fun as buying shoes, right? But I want the men to understand the pain too. So gentlemen, stay with me. Imagine that you need to buy a condom. In the world of a million sizes, shapes, styles, colors, brands, and in order to buy the one that will fit you, you need to go into a store, fitting room, and then to try many of them on. Because it's not just only about the size, right? It's about how it feels and how it looks. And then comes the expert. He wants to help you, but first he must measure you. <laughs> Guys, how fast will you replace that store with an online one that helps you buy the perfect fit quickly and, and privately? So now that we are all aligned, <laughs> let's talk about Briola. <laughs> so Briola is a marketplace. We sell uh, uh, all the brands for all women, all sizes. They can buy uh, easily and quickly and privately uh, many new bras that will fit them. So they don't need to wear the same bra over again and again and again. How does it work? The way that I see it, uh, we have three important layers around our unique platform. The first layer is variety. Briola, we, uh, we are brand agnostic. We work with many, many different brands, so we can target many different of women, and then it doesn't matter for us if the women are 18 years old or 80 years old, if their size is the largest or the smallest, if they buy bras for $20 or $200. We have absolutely everything. I'm sorry, not yet technology. The second layer, is operation and the business model. Today, Briola work directly with the brands. We are connected to their warehouses. They know how to drop ship to our customers and how to send it with our packaging, our invoice, our name. So uh, we will pay them only after we have the money from our customers. The third layer is technology. Briola used crowdsourcing and big data to drive the recommendation. And let me give you a quick example of what does it mean. So for example, if I want to buy a new strapless bra, the only thing that I need to do is to go to Briola and to tell Briola at least about one bra that I love to wear. Okay? So for our example, I say, hi Briola, the bra that I love to wear today is uh, by Chantel, specific style, and the size is X. I also have another one by Victoria's Secret that I love to wear. Uh, also specific style, and the size is Y. Briola analyzed those bras and compared to other women, we have a database of millions, and compared to other women who also told Briola that they love the same exact two bras with the same sizes, but they also told Briola, we love this specific strapless and the size is Z. Make sense? So bottom line, bottom line, I get recommendations from women that we have the same physical parameters, we, buy, we have the same taste, the same style. We even buy bras at the same prices. Some numbers and KPIs. Our return rates are less than 12% compared to 
compared to the industry that the number is around 30%. Our conversion rate between a visitor to a customer is around 5%. And 88% of our repeat customers are not doing the same thing of buying the same bra over and over again, but they will buy, they are buying many brands and many styles and will discover uh, other bras. It's a $32 billion industry, $14 billion in the U.S. Today we target only in the U.S. More numbers. Uh, I want to share with you our development around our gross margins. So our run rate, yearly run rate is around 25 million. And we were busy mainly in the last two years with increasing the gross margins. But let's understand what is gross margins. Gross margins, it means after we paid for the cost of good, shipping, handling, discount, returns, everything that they want to charge me. Then we went up from 20%. Last month, it was 48%. And the reason is because we stopped, we stopped working with the middlemen that buy from the vendors, and we work directly with the vendors, the brands. Also, uh, when you have more volume, when you sell more, you get better pricing from the shipping companies, from everyone. So we, also, we have plan I have to get to 60%, but this is not going to be uh, just with the same structure of selling multi-brands, but by adding private label for a few specific uh, uh, products, such as panties, that the margins are even higher. 47% of our revenue are coming from repeat customers, and we are still working uh, to increase. And what's next? Up to date, we, have ra we raised 10 million uh, from seed money and A round, and we are now in, in a position to raise our B round. Uh, the, the main focus with the new 15 million that we are looking to raise is going to be uh, one about uh, uh, building our marketing, our branding, I'm sorry, which until today, everything is just performance. Uh, to improve our technology, but to also build technology about other categories that women buy together for panties, for shapewear, for swimwear, also very, very difficult to buy swimwear. Private label is also part of the opportunity to increase the, the margins and to expand outside the U.S. So I started Briola because I used to hate bra shopping. And as much as today women tell me that Briola makes bra shopping fun, I say in my head that for me, Briola makes more time to buy shoes. <laughs> Thank you.